Hello everyone and welcome to Indie Attack today with Kelson and Woody. Today we have It Moves, a horror game made in RPG Maker by Snow Owl. Um, this is a game that is based off of a short story by Michael Whitehouse called Bedtime. And uh, it is a game that deceptively looks very cute because it's made in RPG Maker, but do not let that fool you because it is actually a very tense, pensive, and frightening game. Uh, Woody. It is a scary adventure time. Like scary adventure times. And, um, Kelsen has played through all of this. I did a full And LB. it's a decent length uh, game, mm -hmm. too. And I did not play through all of this. I decided to play this game at about midnight. Mm -hmm. I start, I started at about midnight. Yes. Now, to give you some details on the plot, this game starts with your main character going to bed, which is what I was about to do, in a dark house by himself. <laughs> so, I started playing this game, I played for about 15 minutes, got to a creepy zone, and noped out. It was like, nope, nope, not playing this anymore tonight. And it is surprisingly effective, yeah. So, the premise is essentially you're a child, and in your dreams, in the game, uh, uh, which is slightly different than the story. I read the story as well, because I was really interested to compare the two, and um, it's a really great, it's really interesting what they did with the story, uh, but essentially you're a child, and a demonic presence is in your room. And as you fall to sleep, you are very much aware of that demonic presence, and you travel into a, into a dream world that basically is ominous and creepy and has very different layers of sort of horror tropes that are spun into this really uh, uh, claustrophobic environment. And as you go on, you, the demonic presence in your room gets closer and closer to you, and after a certain point... Uh, you can no longer call in the night for your mom because your mom is out dealing with your sick grandmother and the demonic presence takes its chance. And that's, you know, kind of when we get to the climactic area of the game. Now, what is really cool is that in the short story, uh, essentially all of the dialogue is lifted from the short story. And so there's a lot of... Um, the descriptions of how frightening it is, the creature, the, the things that happen in the room. What is not at all in the short story are the levels. The actual dreams that you have are completely the vision of the developers. And I thought that was amazing. In the in the story, there's no description of, like, you're in the hall, or you're looking, you know, you're turning these valves, and then slowly the uh, this, like, ominous music starts to play, and this face, this, uh, this horrifying face starts to, like, slowly fade in from the background until you've completely finished the level, and then it's completely all you're seeing on the screen. All of that was not in the story. And I thought that was really cool because it is rare that you find a such a good, in, like, true interpretation of another art form in, an, in another medium that is done so well that, that conjures the spirit of the original. It expands. Exactly, original. yeah. It's like, yeah, what is that kid? Ha what dreams would that kid have when he f fights through the night and manages to, you know, just, like, accept the demonic presence or call for his mom? And eventually eventually he sleeps, and in his dreams, his dreams are troubled, too, and they sort of inform. The, the two realities inform one another in the game. And I thought that was freaking just so well done, man. It, it blew me away. Um... And, and it's genuinely scary. Yeah, know? it's spooky. It is spooky, you know? And um, just from a standpoint of game narrative and, like, what you can do, and the fact that it's made an RPG maker, it's like, bravo! You know, it's the best <laughs> game I've ever seen made in RPG maker, you know, personally. And um, manages to way exceed what you thought could be potentially ominous in it. And... Uh, I, there's a total of one jump scare in the game. Okay, I found it, and it's and it's not even in the main story. It's I, I explored every nook and cranny as I was going through the levels, and there's one thing that pops up. That's it. The rest of it is just this sinking feeling, and 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 making sort of meta uh, commentaries on games where let's say you know you're walking down a hall, something starts walking towards you. You you're like, oh no, that's bad. That's a monster. You walk away from it, and then it's it's coming from you from the other direction as well. Stuff that you can only really do in games, or maybe movies, but it would be hokier in a movie. But in a game, it just feels so claustrophobic. Um, yeah. It, it, obviously, I loved it. You know, <laughs> I really did. I really loved it. It is super seasonally appropriate yes. as well. And really manages to do a lot with a little for free. I mean, I really think this this is another example of why we do this. 
It's a free game that is awesome. So that sounds like a pretty stirring recommendation. Yeah, also. probably one of my favorite games we've played in all of Indie Attack, just because I just really, really appreciated it, and I've been in a very spooky mood. The Halloween season is one of my favorites, and it's just, uh, just really, really worth your time and attention, I think.